Hello, I'm Donald McCauley from BJGP, and today I'm talking to Professor Azi Majid, who's one of the world's top primary care epidemiologists. Azim, tell me, what's the current situation with Corona COVID-19 in the UK? Uh, so currently, we're seeing um, a large increase in cases um, in the UK. So during February, we saw sporadic cases. Uh, during early March, we saw a more sustained increase. And in the last uh, week or so, we're seeing uh, a much faster increase, an exponential increase in cases. So the number of cases is doubling every two and a half to three days. So this is putting a lot of pressure on the health service in primary care and in hospitals as well. So what do you think this means for our primary care colleagues? Uh, for primary care, it's meant quite a radical shift in the way that we work. So in the last uh, 10 days or so, uh, GPs and care have made dramatic shifts in how they uh, offer care. So I think D-Day was um, Monday the 16th of, uh, of March. So the main change that occurred uh, on Monday the 16th of uh, March uh, was that uh, most practices shifted to a, a telephone triage system. So my practice, for example, in the mornings we largely have telephone consultations and the idea is that we deal with um, as many people as possible on the phone. Um, and we also screen out those who might be COVID-19 positive. In the afternoon then we have our face-to-face -face clinic I saw a picture, Azim, of you in practice wearing theatre scrubs. Are, are you guys wearing theatre scrubs? Yes, that's uh, become quite common now. Um, so my practice, I was the first to switch to theatre scrubs. Uh, but across the UK, more and more GPs are reporting they're wearing theatre scrubs. Uh, the rationale for that is that you go home uh, in your own clothes and not the clothes you wore in the surgery. And what about your staff, Azim? What about the receptionists? Uh, so they're... Um, uh, also going to switch up in our practice uh, to scrubs, so we're going to switch in the next uh, week or so to everyone wearing scrubs, we just put a big order in. There is a lot of anxiety among reception staff uh, about coronavirus, because many of them are, are older, they're above 50, sometimes above 60, and some of the groups are at risk of complications. So we, we recognise that many staff are very anxious. Uh, uh, and what would, what would you expect for primary care in the next week, Azim? Um, I think we're going to see a, another increase in, in cases. So as I mentioned, currently the, the number is doubling every two and a half to three days. Uh, that increase has been larger in London than elsewhere. So London is, in some ways is at the forefront of the outbreak, and that's where I practice. But I think we're going to see in the next uh, week or two that outbreak spread across other parts of the UK. So we can expect a, a pretty dramatic change in the next week. Yeah, I think a lot of pressure on GPs, on a departments, on inpatient wards, and on intensive care beds and, and ventilators. Azim, thank you very much. I've been talking to Professor Azim Majid from Imperial College. We really appreciate your snapshot on general practice today. Thank you, Azim. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.